guys, today I'm going to show you how I did my 3D Hello Summer Flamingo sign. And of course, I do love to airbrush a lot of the signs that I do, or pretty much everything that I do. I just love using the airbrush. So here I'm just making sure that the pressure is right um, before I can start using any paints in my machine. So I start out with some alcohol and make sure I clean out my gun really good and I'm ready to go. So here as you can see I'm just sizing my flamingo making sure that my pieces are all here before I start painting. So as you can see I have all my pieces and now I'm ready to paint. So, so I'm going to choose between two pinks here and I was debating between this um, orangey pink color that glows in the dark or the neon color pink and so of course I went with the neon pink and this is an acrylic paint that I got out of Michaels but I am using a acrylic paint thinner uh, to dilute my acrylic paint uh, so that I can airbrush uh, smoothly with my gun make sure I mix it really good and it's going to feel like a milky texture and as you can see that little drip is like a milk, milk texture sorry about that and I go ahead and I put it into my airbrush make sure the pieces that I'm not coloring pink are moved aside and then all the, all the pieces that are going to be neon pink are on my mat so as you can see I pour a little bit of my mixture and I start spraying away so while I paint, enjoy some music. So as you guys noticed, in the beginning the airbrush gave me a little hard time, but once I got it working, um, it sprayed beautifully and the neon pink is popping really nicely on this flamingo. Alright, so for this piece, which is one of the main pieces of my door sign, um, I'm going to be using a forest green and a neon green, mixing it together and see how those colors look combined on this piece. So for my letters, I am using a matte finish black. And of course with letters, it does take some time because sometimes with the pressure of the airbrush machine, it tends to blow my letters away. So as you can see, I'm struggling a little bit with my letters, but um, I'm able to manage to color them and they come out really nice. All right, all our pieces are done and they're drying and we're just gonna wait for this to dry and then assemble it together. All right guys, here it is, a finished product. Um, it's still not quite done because I still have to add a bow to this, um, but once I add a glittery bow to it, it's definitely gonna come together and it's gonna look really, really good on the door. So I hope you guys enjoy watching my video step-by-step step on how I did this 3D door sign. And if you guys enjoy watching, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram and feel free to shoot me a comment and give me your thumbs up. 
I hope you enjoy watching. God bless you guys.